Your Excellencies and distinguished senators that are here this morning. Well, I'm now very happy. I'm holding the microphone. Today is my daughter's day. And I want to tell you that, especially all the senators that are in the house and all the government officials, Your Excellency, I you all. But you are in a small trouble tonight. And that small trouble is I will spend two hours holding this microphone to talk about my daughter. And there's nothing you will do for me tonight. You really clap for me. If you don't clap for me, I'm going to extend it for another one more hour. It's quarter to two. You better clap for me very well. Because today is my daughter's day, and I'm the happiest living being on the surface of my heart. Today, I thank God Almighty for your life, my beautiful daughter, in whom I'm well pleased with. The beauty you're all seeing is strength. The beauty you're seeing about Elizabeth in Tunuayo, that rich. The husband mentioned that a radical change agent. That is indeed my daughter. She is an epitome of her mother, an epitome of someone that has gone through so much in life. A lot of people don't know what she's gone through in life. She has seen it all, but today we're celebrating you. Thank God Almighty for your life. We are all very proud of you in the family. We are all here to celebrate you. I want to specifically thank your husband. I didn't call you for the last three days, but I'm sorry we don't have Nobody understand timing like the man who wants to sleep with such a wife. You have to understand timing properly. If you go in front of some people and you relate, it's our friends. But if I already swim, then it's part of the swimming. First of all, I see my organ here, uh, one time governor of a ghosting, Dr. Adam. <laughs> Bon, 